Hello everyone. Welcome to MS Apti webcast. In this video, we are going to see the steps on how to configure passwordless sign in for user account in Azure Active Directory using Microsoft Authenticator app. In the last video, we have seen the steps to set up the Microsoft Authenticator app for Azure Active Directory user account named Test User 2. We will use the same user account for passwordless signing using Microsoft Authenticator app in Azure Active Directory. In passwordless signing, instead of seeing a prompt for password after entering a username, a user that has enabled font signing from the Microsoft Authenticator app sees a message to enter a number in their application. When the correct number is selected, the signing process is complete. This authentication method provides a high level of security and removes the need for the user to provide a password at sign-in. To use passwordless authentication, first we need to enable passwordless phone sign-in authentication methods policy in Azure Active Directory. So let's sign in to the Azure Active Directory Admin Center using an account with global administrator permissions. You can access it using the URL https colon double slash aad.portal.azure.com. On Azure Active Directory portal, click on Azure Active Directory. We are using the user account with global administrator role to perform the steps in this video. Under Manage, click on Security. Under the Manage menu, select Authentication Methods. We will be on Policies page. We can see Microsoft Authenticator is not enabled. To enable it, click on Microsoft Authenticator. Select Yes to enable it. And here we can see the purpose for sign in and strong authentication. By default, it will be enabled for all users. But first, we want to test with specific user account only. So I'll choose Selected Users option. Click on Add Users and Groups link to define the user or groups. From the list, select the user account. In our case, I'll select Test User 2. Click on Select. Each added group or user is enabled by default to use Microsoft Authenticator in both passwordless and push notification modes. To change this, click on three dots. In our case, we have only one user in which is Test User 2. Let's click on these three dots. Select Configure. We only want to use passwordless authentication. For authentication mode, choose passwordless. So click on this drop down arrow and choose passwordless. Selecting push option prevents the use of the passwordless phone sign in credentials. Click on done. To apply the new policy, click on save. Wait for the confirmation message. We got the message. The policy was successfully saved. And on policy page, we can see Microsoft Authenticator is enabled for one user. And in our case, it is test user 2. Before using it, users must register themselves for the passwordless authentication method of Azure Active Directory. Let me remind you that already we have set up Microsoft Authenticator app for our user test user 2 in the last video. If you don't know how to set up Microsoft Authenticator app for Azure Active Directory user account, then check out the last video on it. Link is given in the description area. Now, open Microsoft Authenticator app on your mobile phone. Tap on the user account name in Microsoft Authenticator app. Choose Enable Phone Sign-in option. Click on Continue. Enter the password in the application of our user, user2. 
then click on sign in click on approve to approve the sign in request once you complete the biometric verification you will reach on the screen now you simply need to click on register now a user test user 2 is successfully registered for passwordless authentication now i'm going to close microsoft authenticator app on my mobile device let's test passwordless signing using microsoft authenticator app for test user 2 let's open new in private window let's type the url https colon double slash my account dot microsoft dot com and press enter key to access my account web page enter the username of our test user 2 in our case the username is user2 at msftwebcaster dot on microsoft dot com let's click next generally here you need to enter the user's password to access his account but this time here we will click on use an app instead link to generate the number so let me click on use an app instead option on your mobile phone you will receive approve sign in request and then you simply need to enter this number in your mobile phone to complete the verification so let's enter the number in my case it is 63 and after that you just need to tap on yes to complete the sign in process so you need to type the number you see on the login screen into the microsoft authenticator app dialog box if number match correctly the authentication process will complete successfully and user will reach on his account home page and here we can see the user has been authenticated successfully uh, i'm going to click on no and after that the user will reach on my account web page we can see a user test user 2 is able to sign in successfully using passwordless signing method in azure active directory so without entering his password test user 2 can access my account web page so that concludes the video on how to configure passwordless signing for azure active directory user account using microsoft authenticator app thank you all for watching this video have a nice day